Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. This lesson is a reaction stoichiometry, limited and excessive reactant products. This is uh, reactants lesson A. Okay, so we have uh, the equation NO plus O2 yields NO2. So we're given 30 grams of NO and 30 grams of O2. We want to know which ones are limited reactant. Okay, so now, first of all, we have to balance the equation. This equation is not quite balanced, so we need to put a 2 here and a 2 there. By doing that, we balance the chemical equation. All right, now, what we do is we're going to take our 30 grams of NO and our 30 grams of O2, and we're going to find grams of NO2. The one that makes the least amount is our limited reactant. So I'll let you look at that for a minute. Again, we take 30 grams of NO, turn into grams of NO2. We're going to take 30 grams of O2 and turn it into grams of NO2. The one that makes the least amount is our limited reactant. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of these arrows here. And let's do the calculations. So now we're going to take 30 grams of, let's make that a little bit better, take 30 grams of NO times one mole of NO. Remember, in these problems, we're going to go from my grams to my moles, my moles to their moles to their grams. Okay, it's going to be pretty simple, straightforward. All right, so now, oh, we need to know the molar mass of NO. So you go N is O, you go N is 1 times 14.01. O is 1 times 16.00. We get these numbers from the periodic table. This gives me 30.01 grams per mole of NO. All right, so we got 30.01 grams of NO. But we want to go from my grams to their grams, so we need to use the molar ratio. What is the molar ratio between NO and NO2? It's a 2 to 2 ratio which is basically the same as 1 to 1, but we're going to just go ahead and put the 2 in there, not to be confusing. So we go 2 moles of NO over 2 moles of NO2. When I do this, that's going to give me moles of NO2, but I don't want moles of NO2. I want grams of NO2. So I'm going to multiply this again by 1 mole, or divide by 1 mole of NO2, and now I need to know the, amount, the molar mass of NO2. So this is going to be N is 1 times 14.01, O is 2 times 16.00, and the grams for all that one, uh, guys, is going to give me, um, let's see, I'll lose my calculator here, hang on for one second. So I've got uh, 32 plus 14.01, uh, uh, it's going to give me 46. 0.01 grams per mole of NO2. So that's going to give me 46.01 grams of NO2. So now grams cancel out, moles cancel out, and then we multiply by grams. So we go 30 divided by 30.01. Times 2 divided by 2 times 46.01, and that gives me 45.99 grams of NO2. I now would do the oxygen. So we go 30 grams of O2 times 1 mole of O2 over 32.0 grams of O2. Where that 32 come from? O2 is equal to, O2 is 2 times 16.00, which is 32 grams per mole of O2. All right, but we don't want that. We want to see the, what's the ratio between oxygen here and NO2 here. Okay, it's a 1 to 2. So we go 1 mole of O2 on the bottom, two moles of NO2 on the top. Again, we want to put it in grams, so we're going to, have to divide by NO2 times 46 point, 
46. 0 0.01 grams of NO2. All right, so when we do this, let's put these numbers in our calculator. 30 divided by 32 times 2 times 46.01. That made 86.27 grams of NO2. So which one is the least amount? The NO2, uh, this NO2 is the least amount here, so that means that our limitant reactant is our NO. So NO is the limitant reactant. Okay? Now, once we know the limitant reactant of NO2, we can calculate how many grams of NO it will make, or NO2. So, we have 40, if we want to know, for example, how many moles that is, so we made, using 30 grams of NO, so we want to know how many moles of NO that's going to make, so what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, 30 grams of NO times 1 mole of NO divided by 30.01 grams of NO times and we want to know how many moles of NO2 it makes. So we go, there are two moles of NO2, two moles of NO2. And so we're going to take 30 divided by 30.1, which is going to equal times 2 divided by 2, which is going to equal 1.0 moles of NO2. So if we want to know, this is how we, how many moles of NO2 are made with 30 grams of NO. So this is pretty simple. Okay, guys? So you guys, I want you to have a snarly day, and we'll see you back here at Moose and Chemistry.